in the original design of the house, the goal was to be as um, sustainable as possible, to minimize the footprint. When we bought our old house, we always knew that we expected to build a new house. And the challenge had always been how to fit the house between the road, which is actually quite close, and this great big, gorgeous, very healthy tallowwood. And as we went through the process, um, you'll hear that there's a train getting ready to go by, and our requirements for noise abatement, obviously, The tallow tree is almost dead centre in the block of land, along with the train line to the rear and the road at the front, force the very compact building form. The house is built on piers to save the beautiful tallow wood. We have these um, thermal, well, the thermal mass is through these water tanks, which are right here at the entrance, which one, are just aesthetically beautiful. And they also, if you walk into the living room, you see they provide a really nice way to divide the room from the entrance while also letting light in so that the living room isn't really dark. But also, more importantly, is that you can see in the, in the winter, as the sun comes in this way, it slowly will start to warm up these water tanks a bit, um, which again, for the thermal mass, it makes a small difference in the temperature of the house. But then in the summer, we have an electric shade that we can drop down that then blocks out the light to keep the water tanks at a cooler temperature. All other shading in the building is taken care of through fixed devices, whether that be the eaves overhangs of the roofs or whether that be the bolt-on awnings. You can see how the legs of the awnings alternate depending on the orientation of the building to provide the maximum amount of shade whilst limiting their impact during winter when heating is still required. So one of the other key aspects for the passive house is that it seals. So we have this big red membrane that does airtight, but then you also need the windows to seal. So these windows are triple glazed, um, which has a lot, a great effect for reducing the amount of sound that comes in from the busy road and the train that's going by literally right now that you can't hear, which is 50 meters off the back of the house. But then um, they also, Tilt, a very classic European style, or if you turn the handle a smidge more, they open all the way up. Screw piers were used to avoid damaging the tallow tree with the remainder of the construction being done in timber. The vapor open airtight membrane was applied to the external sheathing of OSB and PIR insulation eight board of that, followed by battens and cladding. The roof is a structurally insulated panel. There were several open days held during construction as it was fairly unique in Sydney at that point in time. The six kilowatt photovoltaic system currently produces more power than the home uses. So downstairs, you'll remember, we had the great big windows across from the water tanks. And in the summer, one of the ways we maintain the temperature is that in the evenings, as the sun goes down and the temperature outside cools down considerably, we can open up both of those windows at full tilt and open our two clear story windows up here and the air will naturally pulls in, the cooler air just naturally pushes the hot air out the windows, and overnight, by the time we get up in the morning, we've dropped the temperature quite a few degrees. The home has been occupied since October 2019, and it's sitting very well within the 20 to 25 degree temperature band. There have been a few spikes during the summer months when temperatures were excessive outside, over 40 degrees, but also during that period, the overnight lows were not very low, preventing the building from cooling down. There's been an occasional blip this winter so far with cool temperatures, during which time they have used the air conditioning. One of the defining characteristics of the passive house is that it's exceptionally airtight, which means that as occupants of the house, as you constantly exhale carbon dioxide and moisture and want fresh air to breathe, that has to be supplied somehow. So in a passive house, in our house, this is the system that does that. Two fans constantly pulling air in and pushing air out of your house. But in that process, it exchanges the heat between the air coming in and air coming out. So your house stays the temperature it is, and the outside stays the temperature it is. As a result, in the summer you stay cool, and in the winter you stay warm, even though this is not a heater or an air conditioner.